cold drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Hej, cześć, witajcie, witam was w trzecim odcinku z gry The Book of Unwritten Tales. Jak widzicie, jesteśmy Ivy... Ivo? Ivo. Ivo, coś takiego. I jesteśmy przy domu McGuffina. Kapelusz ma There's something written on it, but I can't see what it is. That could be a little gravestone. I can't remove the undergrowth with my bare hands. It's very... No, 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 no. An old watering can made out of metal. It's small, even by gremlin standards. Ale gremlin też nie są za duże. A pile of logs. There is no way that MacGuffin will get through the winter with such a small amount, not even autumn. Mm. Three should be enough. <laughs> An upturned flower pot made of clay. Oh. There's a stone under it. Hmm, that could be a fire stone. That's coming with me. <laughs> Presumably the professor wanted to prevent the stone getting wet. Hmm, that's the question. A daring structure, and just like the whole house, pretty wonky. Doesn't look as if it'll last long. A large brick fireplace. The fire grates on the outside, not inside the house. That's a bit unusual, but it does make sense if the professor doesn't wish to have an open fire inside. No, we need a custodian for the dog. He presumably doesn't want an open fire and sparks flying around in the house. The warmth will spread through to the walls inside. No. McGuffin has a lot of flammable objects. He the warmth was. Amra. McGuffin has a lot of flammable. The warmth was spread. No, but no metal over there. A swinging metal frame. You can hang pots or something of that sort onto it, and then swing it over the fire. I should hang something from it. Lovely pattern. Sprawdzimy. Come on, let's just. I'd say it's a pretty basic millstone. Grain is tipped into the hole above, and you then turn the upper stone. The flower then comes out of the side. Pewnie tak. I'd say this is a pretty basic millstone. The flower. A może on coś na tym? Zapalogin na polenisku. What can I burn? I should put... Trzewno. Once they get going, they'll burn for a few hours. Hmm. Zapal. I can't set fire to logs just with a. I need something that lights easily to get the fire started. To potem zobaczymy. Spojrzymy sobie na studę. The groundwater is only a few meters down in this region. Presumably the well isn't very deep. Pewnie. The well rope is fastened to the windlass. Doesn't look particularly strong. The well rope is fastened to the wind. A, użyjemy sobie jako trebne miejsce. Hmm, to było bardzo łatwe. Hmm. A, oczywiście. The rope is broken and the bucket's probably at the bottom of the well where it's of no use to anyone. The rope is broken. Presumably the years spent soaked in water have rotted it away. Mhm. The rope is broken. Zobaczmy, co to to? Co to to? Spójrzmy do wina. Someone's fitted a wooden shutter in front of the little window. Looks like the shutter can be opened. It's pretty high up. Strange. Some looks like. Whoa, cool. Typical bachelor. Everything in a mess. Plates, pots, cups covered with a sticky mixture of dust and fat. Dead flies. Oh, yuck. I'm deaf. <laughs> Drewniana balia. A wooden tub, about half full of water. Oh, great. 
This has the professor's washing floating around in it. White shirts, grey socks, red underpants. Oh, cool. A wooden tub, about half full of water. Oh. Not to someone, maybe. A small old fashioned shield. The inside is highly polished. Oh, yeah. oh. The back of the fireplace. When MacGuffin wanted to heat his food up, he just needed to put it into one of those little stoves. Pewnie. Czekajcie, małe cięcie. Ok, już do was wracam. Małe drewniane naczynie. A carpenter's cup. It looks old. Not really worth a closer look. Hmm. Would appear to be a mirror frame. There are still a few broken shards of the old mirror around the edges. The mirror's turned so it reflects the fireplace. Strange. Hmm. Would appear to be the mirror. Hmm. Oh, so there's what's to. What's that? A box with some kind of glass eye. Seems to be hanging directly in front of the gable window. I haven't got a clue what it's for. Jak to drzwi wywalone. No. Ja mam pozycję cięcego muzyczna. They're muzyka. everywhere around here. This one here isn't glowing anymore. And won't ever again. Jelly glowfish are really quite frugal animals. They need water and a little bit of food every now and then. I guess this one lacked the latter. Płacz. Looks like the base for a statue. It's made out of stone and it's covered with strange characters. A stone casket placed in a wooden box. The box looks very cheap. It could be one of those storage containers. The Maybe. stone chest is decorated with two angels and has writing on it too. I can't read it. Mm. What's likely to happen, eh? Sand. Hmm. Is it me? Or has it just got much warmer in here? The chest is filled to the brim with fine sand. I haven't got a clue what else might be in there. I can hardly sift my way through the sand with my hand. The chest is filled to the brim. I can hardly the chest is I can hardly a strange stone head. It's been roughly hewn but has a few fine embellishments. Czekajcie jeszcze raz na odcinek, przepraszam bardzo. Okej, okay, okej, okay, już do was wracam. Perhaps a memento from one of the professor's expeditions. Maybe. A little wooden box. Doesn't look like an antique or anything particularly valuable. It has beautiful workmanship though. Mm, bo elfy lubią wszystko ładne. It's locked. Shit. Starta dokumentów. Hmm, old parchment and yellowing papers. Filled with texts in many different foreign languages. Adonai from Western, Quenya and Sindarin. And technical drawings in Kuzdol. So what? A large handwritten book. It looks like it's been used a lot. I think these are all the things that the professor uses on his digs. A brush, a little shovel, a sieve. Rest. I'll take the sieve. The rest looks pretty useless. <laughs> it's the Gremlin's diary. Perhaps I'll find some hints about the cellar. Let's take a closer look. Who would have ever thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to stop this madness? And I didn't find the key to it on one of my expeditions, not in dark dungeons or in fiery mountains. Oh no, I discovered the answer in an old book. He must mean the book that was hidden in the cellar, in which the information about the artifact's whereabouts is written. Hmm, the notes end mid-sentence. I wonder why I haven't heard anything from Archmage Alistair yet. I sent Beetle out with a message for him yesterday morning. I hope nothing has... That was the last entry. There are others before it. <coughs> Okay. What's this? A dragon skull. It could have been a horn tail. Nasty creatures. But there are very few around these days. The last of them are now working almost exclusively as beasts of burden. They've not just lost their viciousness, they've lost their pride too. 
I can still remember a time when dragons were powerful. That was centuries ago, before they were subjugated to a stranger's will by the power of magic. Once they were brought under control, they were used by the hundred on battlefields. From that, very few of them survived. Hmm, not bad of them. Books, books, and more books. Most are ancient tomes. They appear to be written in just about every language. <laughs> the book that MacGuffin told me about is hidden in the cellar. These books aren't of interest. My breath, so good. Looks like a very ancient sarcophagus. Some can you take her? Oh, strange. There are hinges on it, just like a door. The fuck? Shame. Just a stinky mummy. Hmm. What have we here? What are you doing, Mortimer? What the... Did you... Um, did you just speak? Uh... You speak? Me? No. Well, uh, yes you do, quite obviously. Yes, Tim. What is obvious? That you can and do speak. But of course. But you just said that you didn't. Why are you being so strange, Mortimer? I... I'm not Mortimer. Where is Mortimer? You mean MacGuffin, the gremlin archaeologist who lives here, yes? What? Mortimer. Yes? You're called Mortimer. No, of course not. I think we're finished with this conversation. I think you are slowly losing your marbles, Mortimer. The fuck is wrong with you, bro? It's fast. Presumably the sarcophagus lacks oxygen. <laughs> Something in there. A little brass key. Oh, Klocek. Pewnie do tej małej, do tego malutkiego pudełeczka. No ja. Let's see. There's a bit of paper in the box. The paper's densely covered with writing. Deus ex machina. Deus the ex. ghost in the machine is the heading. Yeah, Deus ex. A drawing of a stone figure. Wait, 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 wait. At its feet is a vessel containing liquid. Hmm. Let's take a look. The ghost in the machine is wise to all the secrets of this house. That's what's written here. Hmm. Blah blah. Pour the fuel into the bowl at the foot of the machine to awaken the ghost. Oh. Fuel. Believe oh, Here. Grind the beans and tip the powder into boiling water. Then pour the mixture into the bowl. We've already had that bit. Mm -hmm. You'll get the beans from the machine. Hmm, strange. A machine that's meant to be familiar with all the secrets of the house. No, kurde. Czekajcie, przepraszam, to już ostatni cięcie. Dobra, już do was wracam. Ja mam małe problemy z bratem. There is something else. Hmm? There's a six-sided flat stone hidden under the. Oh, two, Vader. It has something a bit like a knob on the top of it. No. Hmm. Let's see. Fits perfectly. Hmm. I wonder if I. Could don't you see what's this? Oh, how pretty. <laughs> The vessel's a few centimeters deep and empty. Znaczy nie ma kilka strugów, jeśli jest po na niej jakieś... A bo wy nie widzicie, bo tutaj jest kamerka. Gdzie ona to mówi? Uuu, this must be the ominous machine which is reputed to have a ghost Tu pewnie żyje duch. The vessel at its base must be for fuel. Hmm. The statue has small holes in its nose. And it appears that the mouth could be opened. Hello, you in there, ghost? Give me beans for your draft. <laughs> oh, mighty ghost in the machine. Give me the beans for your delicious, godly draft. Let's look at it this way. If you don't give me the beans, then I won't be able to prepare your stupid draft. And that won't be of any use to anyone. 
Ha. Why the wait? <laughs> Lol. The vessel's a few centimeters deep and empty. Dobra, to jak się z tego wychodziło? No tak. Wychodzimy. I zatrzymy ziarna. Z mielu. Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? Może pogadamy z naszym ćwierkiem. Miałem kiedyś na cielkę o nazwisku ćwierk. W jaki artefakt nie przychodzić? Ćwierki, ćwierki. No, that's been lost to the depths of the ocean. <laughs> no, that's been thrown back into the same fire that was used to forge it. No, I haven't got a clue. It must be something that no one bargained for. Something that no one has ever looked for. It'll be in the Gremlins book. If only I had it already. Why is that scarecrow not scaring you? Yes, certainly. And how? It has been shown on the stage. Of course. Little one, and don't get up to any mischief. No. Przewiąz skanawkę do. That should hold. Let's give it a whirl. Voda. This means that I have a gremlin watering can full of water. Yeah. Boom, motherfucker. Better not. The instructions say that the water should be boiling before the. Powiesimy konawkę na tym. The watering can with the cold well water is hanging on the metal arm. What was? I can't set fire to look just to the fire. I need something that lights easily to get the fire started properly. Beans all present and correct. And what was that about the fuel again? Ah, yes. Children. Who missed? If you're a good one. Well, well, that's sudden that. It was plumber again. Mi tam pasuje. Żal dobrze robisz. Let's see. The water's boiling. Just. A watering can full of hot water. No, no. Very well. Very well. It's mm. not a fish commission. It's brown. And it smells... Mmm, lovely. Cover. That's the fuel for the machine sorted. There is... Gemma do... Ducha. Oliwo. Bogu. Hello. You there, ghost? I have to find the secret cellar. Will you help me? No, go fuck yourself. Ten duch to mało... Mało pala, spoko. Idziemy! No tak myślałem, że to... O, dywan nawet się zagrał. So this is the legendary secret cellar. Boisz. The cellar continues on behind these bars. I can't see anything, but I bet that the book's in there somewhere. 
strong iron bars without a door or lock. Behind it is a dark room. I somehow have to open the bars. The sad remains of extinct cultures and of the last camping trip. I can't discover anything of interest amongst this junk. Yes, even a secret cellar is in the end just a cellar. All cellars have gardening tools such as these gardening shears. Really? As long as I'm not expected to do the gardening now. Oh, really? I don't think. Drewniana Loska. Approximately two meters long with a top made of bronze. Looks like something's missing there. Hmm. This picture seems to indicate that a ruby belongs in there. Ruby. I want to see the ruby. Maya. What for this podwad? A small circular opening in the ground. It's decorated with an ancient script, just like the picture on the wall. Oh. Malavido. A picture on a stone slab. It depicts a man in a robe with a staff in his hand. It's up in the headpiece of the stone. No, that's a man. Some sort of light beam shining on it. A picture on a stone slab. A jewel. Nota. How I come in the figurka. A small fat figure. She's holding a mirror above her head. Looks ancient. A potion was nice. Potion is a camera. Bad, not that. The windows open. The last rays of sunlight can enter the house. I don't believe it. Now oh, I've ended up doing the gardening. <laughs> it is indeed a gravestone. It is marble. A little gravestone made of granite that's got Kinski inscribed on it. Kinski. A little gravestone made of. Czy wy też tu to widzicie? Spójrz na dynię. Nie przypomina sobie, że takie coś było. A pumpkin patch. Not particularly well cared for. Presumably McGuffin spends a lot of time buried in his books and not enough time in his garden. The pumpkin should have been harvested long ago. Some are already starting to go moldy. Perfect. The shields reflecting the light beam down into the cellar. Może pogadamy z tym czubkiem. Nie patrzę jej na dupę. Juhu! Jo. Nie jestem Mortimer, nie widzisz tego? Time. I'm not Mortimer. Of course not. If you say so. Mortimer has been kidnapped, and I wanted to rescue him. I guess. That's that's terrible. You'll have to hide. Me? Why? They want to kidnap you. That's already happened. What the fuck? Mortimer. Mortimer has already been kidnapped. But that's impossible. Who is talking to me at night then? Mortimer is your friend, is he not? Did he um excavate you? <laughs> you could say that. I was lying in the dark for quite some time. Then the lid opened and Mortimer was there. Wow. I've been with him ever since. Well, as things look right now, Mortimer's not going to be here to chat for some time. We do not chat. We discuss, we deliberate, we debate, we chat, but we would never go skiing. Huh? It's so. Why? Do you really want to go skiing? I don't want to go skiing. What, what is the skiing? Fuck? 
No idea. Give me a you have an accident in a bandage factory. <laughs> no, I'm a mummy. Mummy? Don't mummies have their brains pulled out via their noses during the mummification process? I don't think so. I do. <laughs> Ecco che creative che vince. Hey, I'm talking to you. You? You can speak? You know what? Forget it. I'll work it out for myself. What I'd the fuck? I'll search through every nook and cranny of this house and inflict any more of these conversations upon my elven ears. You? You can speak? No. Yeah. I know you've never been down there, but there was a staff in the cellar, and there's a precious stone that belongs on the top of it. A ruby. Do you know where it is? But of course, Mortimer. You asked me to hide it for you. I'm not dead. Don't you remember? Uh, I, I must have forgotten about that. <laughs> oh, what would you do without me? Mm, Could little. you please just give it to me? I just need it for a second. What? The jewel, and before you ask, I mean the stone that you put somewhere safe for mo me. And please don't tell me that you've forgotten. How could I forget that? You said it was very important that no one found the stone. Oh, okay. Now please can I have it back? Why would I give a complete and utter stranger Mortimer's stone? What the heck? But I am Mortimer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're too tall, too thin, too hairy. And you have those, those <laughs> things there. But I am Mortimer. Oh. What? The build of the this list. nonsense. Give me the jewel. Never. Threats will get you nowhere. I'm a karate master. I've had enough of this nonsense. Never. I'm a friend of Mortimer. He sent me to fetch something out of the cellar. I have never seen you here before, and I never forget a face. Please, it's urgent. I do not know whether I can trust you. I would only give a really good friend of Mortimer's the jewel. That's me. I saved his life. Well, maybe. Really? Hmm. If you are truly a good friend of Mortimer, then you will be able to give me the answer to the following question. No. What color is his underwear? Red. He mostly wears red underwear. That's right! Red silk underwear. They but are cake. I'm still not quite satisfied. So, what is his cat's name? Uh, me. His Kinski. Died some while ago. Her gravestone's outside. Her name was Kinski. It was a tomcat. The poor thing is always so happy. <laughs> so <laughs> with my tom, did you? It's real good yes, to you, bro. Very sad, very sad. But hopefully this proves that I am a good friend of old Mortimer, does it not? No. You have only answered one of my questions. Two? Uh, you asked me about his underwear. But why would his underwear be of any interest to me? Oh, come on, don't change the subject. Are you going to give me that jewel now? No. Not yet, I have one last question. What did Count Grunschfeld or Pieperbock say to his adjutant Henninger shortly before the Battle of Budleberg? The huh? fuck? Wrong. No, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I am a trifle unsure about this too. It is a bit like a coded... And do you know the answer? Of course. Mortimer told me. And you haven't forgotten it? I... Uh, no. So, what is the answer? Nie powiedziałeś, że twój ojcze. Nawiązanie pewnie do Star Warsu powiedział mu o który nie może odrzucić po odpowiedzi na twój to dwie rzeczy. 
Hirschfeld made Henninger an offer. Really? So he really made him an offer? No. What did Grunschfeld? This is my son. Henninger, I am your father. Look. What nonsense. I can see dead people. That was before. Did you spot a clue? You caught this girl. I never feel wrong. wrong. Now tell me, what did he say to his adjutant? Two hundred and thirty-four, of course. Oh, huh? what? Two hundred and thirty-four. I know all about that. Two hundred and thirty-four. What? The professor is. I asked that. Mortimer just turned six. So. How can anyone who is a good friend of Mortimer not know that? But how? Two hundred and thirty-four. Well, yes. So it turns out that you aren't such a good friend after all, then. Oh, oh that! You mean that two hundred and thirty-four? Yes, exactly. <laughs> With that thingy. Precisely. I see that you are a good friend of Old Mortimer's after all. Of course. Splendid. Now that. Agla. <laughs> Many thanks. Uh, you. Yeah, just this first one. Stop the XP. I can check it out. Fits perfectly. It's all the trouble. <laughs> boom, motherfucker, boom, boom, motherfucker. I might have cast the clay nut. The light beam is reflected by the little figure's mirror. Hmm, there are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure. I've got to try and turn it back to its original position. Hmm, this must be the secret book. It's been written by hand and there are several pictures. There are a few words written in orange ink. The artifact of divine fate. This is serious. I should get this book to the Archmage as quick as I can. Yes, of course. As long course. as I don't bump into the sorcerer or his troll, I should manage to make Seastone by midday tomorrow. Hm, shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Uh oh. Fuck. Ah. Ah. The good stuff is shot as coming, I can't. Je, rozdział drugi w mieście. Dobra, już się zacznie rozdział i skończymy sobie odcineczek. Dzisiaj czy jest to 4 minuta wyprawy. Hmm, to dobrze, tyle. Za szybko jest tak dużo ładuje. No i cześć, bądź. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Ale przyrąbał. <laughs> Why are you staring like that? Never seen a town guard before? No, you... You're a human. Me. Yeah. Yes, uh, you could say that. Never been anything else. Wow. My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand, Royal Town Guard of Seastone. And who are you? Um. Do podrapać. Underhill. Zwadcy pierścienie, jak oni się próbowali do tego miasteczka dostać, jak uciekali przed tym mrocznym miejscu. Nazywam się Wilbur Waterwood i jestem zasadniczym piratem. Nazywam się 
Where's the vein? Where's the vein? Where's the vein? Wilbur, where's the vein? From the White Ridge Mountains on a secret mission. Secret mission. Where's the vein? Hmm, okay then. Where? This lovely seaside resort. Residents of the Archmage and the Seashanty is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Yes! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the orcs were firing grunts at our wall again. <laughs> I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. <laughs> Then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. Have you checked her still she came? On. Oh. Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? No, of bro. Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? Well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's uh, more strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Yeah. Strange? Why does he do that? Who knows? Who knows? What do you mean by upper town? Well, the town's divided into the upper town and the lower town. The Archmage's tower is, of course, in the upper town. And what's in the lower town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. Dumber. I have to go. I'll get in to see the art. Well, I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Wilbur Weathervane from the White Ridge Mountains. Best of luck on your adventure. No doubt we'll bump into each other again. Thanks, Mr. Shieldhand. See you later. Yo, bro. It is. <laughs> ok, ale więc to by było na tyle w tym odcinku. Myślę, że Wam się spodobał. Zapraszam Was do innej serii. Mówię dla Was Max i cześć!